Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Kay. I'm going to read aloud an informational text titled Every Planet Has a Place, a book about our solar system written by Becky Baines. What do you notice about the front cover of this text? I notice different planets. And then over here, it says you are here. So if we are here, this must mean this is planet Earth. Every planet has a place in space. So we see that here is a diagram. And then over here, this is labeled Jupiter. So this must be Jupiter. Over here is Earth, Mercury. Mercury looks really small. And then we have Venus, and then here's Mars. Over here is Saturn, Uranus is here. Over here is Neptune, the blue one. It says, a planet is a round object that circles a star. The planets race one by one in their rings around the sun. And then over here, this caption over here says, everything in our solar system is in orbit around the sun. So this must be the sun over here. The sun's a star so hot and bright, it sends us lots of heat and light. The sun and everything in our solar system, even us, is made of the exploded leftovers of ancient stars. We are made of old stardust. Did you know that the sun is a star? Nearest the sun are four planet worlds made mostly out of rock. Number one, Mercury. If you weigh 70 pounds on Earth, you would weigh 27 pounds on Mercury. Number two, Venus. Venus is covered with volcanoes. Hmm. Number three, Earth. Home sweet home. That's where we are. Number four, Mars. Mars is red because it's made of iron and it's rusty. It even has a rusty pink sky. The third, our Earth has just the right spot. Not too cold, not too hot. The heat and light Earth gets from the sun makes it just right for life. The asteroid belt is mostly rocks circling the sun. And how many dwarf planets does it have? Count, you'll find just one. And then in the captions over here, it reads, there are more collisions in the asteroid belt than anywhere else in the solar system. That crashing makes lots of space dust. Jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system. 1,300 Earths could fit inside it. Out beyond the asteroids, four gas giants whirl. This is a hurricane that has lasted 300 years. Right over here. They have wild, wild weather. The gas giants are not solid. They are clouds of gas. The clouds on Jupiter move faster than hurricane winds on Earth. Tons of moons all together. Some moons are bigger than some planets, but they are still moons because they orbit planets. And enormous rings that swirl. All the gas giants have rings. Saturn's rings are made of bits of dust cover covered ice. Some pieces are as small as dust, some are bigger than houses. What comes next? The Kuiper Belt, full of comets and rocks and dwarf planets hiding like toys in a cereal box. Now look at this picture and see us in the Milky Way galaxy. 
our whole solar system sits here in a cloud called the local fluff. And that is right here. Our sun is just one of 400 billion stars in the galaxy, and the Milky Way galaxy is one of billions of galaxies in outer space. Fun fact, yes, the Milky Way chocolate that you eat was named after this. It's nice to know in our corner of space that every planet has a place. Zigzag through these ideas for more thoughts about our solar system. So we have, if you could live on another planet, which one would you choose? What do you think it would feel like to float in space? What do you think space sounds like? Pretend you are the sun, swing a yo-yo above your head in a circle. The yo-yo is like a planet. What would happen if we had no sun? Look at the moon a few nights in a row. Watch how it changes. Is it growing or shrinking? What do you think the earth would look like if you were standing on Venus? Draw a spaceship that would keep you safe through the asteroid belt. If your bed is the sun, what's earth? Starlight, star bright, first star I see at night. Wish I may, wish I might. Have the wish I wish tonight. Boys and girls, I want you to pick one of these tasks and complete it. Remember to also have fun with it. I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud.